Hey there YouTubers, I've got a, I'd like to say a short video for you today, but I know that's not true. It's going to be decent length, I'd say between 5 and 10 minutes, so let's get right to it. Uh, these are my experiences in high school. Of course, I already did a, a video about my experiences in college related to my disability, so here's one about high school, and there will be another one at some point about my experiences in elementary school. So, here we go. Um, first off, and these are in no particular order, but when I first started going to um, the high school, there was no, uh, the entrance that I typically went in, which was the side entrance, not the front one, um, and that's because the side entrance was where the actual parking lot was, the front entrance was just right on the street, um, but so the side entrance where I typically went in did not have a ramp. Uh, right by the doors the ramp was I'd say at least 50 to 75 I, I'm bad at judging, judging distance but it was it was actually fairly close to the um, athletic fields which was far away more than 50 I would say around 75 75 to 85 feet away um, near the back of the building, which didn't make sense because there were no doors at the back of the building. So the ramp was back there and you had to travel all the way up to where the doors were. Um, so I, I can't remember when it was. I feel like it was somewhere in my, might have been my sophomore year, but it, it could have been late freshman year, I suppose. Um, but my, my father uh, worked in construction and he had friends who uh, were able to put in a ramp and they offered to do it for the school for free and although that sounds great hey yay a free ramp um, there was actually it was the idea was met with some resistance um, and by the by the principal by the superintendent school board blah 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 blah, blah. anyway um, <laughs> eventually it was approved and put in and made things much much easier not only for me, but after it was put in, there was an entire um, class of other students with disabilities, granted more severe disabilities than I have, um, but the aides in, in those classes were so, so thankful for the ramp because for so long they had to, they had to push wheelchairs um, all the way down from that other ramp to the doors and it was just, it, it should have happened much sooner, but I guess me going there was the impetus and behind it happening at all. Um, okay, moving right along because we're already at three minutes. Um, there was an elevator in the high school because there were two floors. Where I went to elementary school, there was only one floor, although after I, well, actually, that's not true. There were two floors, but there was no elevator. There was like a super duper slow lift. I'll get into that more in the elementary video. Um, so there was um, an elevator which you needed a key to use so like it wasn't like any random student could use the elevator I had a key to use it uh, some of the uh, the teachers had keys to use it if they needed uh, to use it for whatever purposes they might need to use it for um, so that was um, I would say not only helpful but necessary because I would not have been able to get up the steps um, I mean I could have crawled up I suppose but then how would my wheelchair get up um, uh, and I had bunches of classes upstairs and downstairs in fact I think more of my classes were upstairs than downstairs but like gym or phys ed was downstairs art was downstairs music was downstairs uh, the cafeteria is downstairs, excuse me, the auditorium, um, let's see, home ec, which I didn't take, but that was downstairs, shop, which I also didn't take, that was downstairs, so there were a lot, a lot of things downstairs, but things like math, science, English, um, foreign languages, blah, 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 those were all upstairs, um, so, so yeah, the elevator was helpful, but more than that, it was necessary. It did present a problem in terms of fire drills, because when there was a fire drill, I'd always be notified before everybody else. 
So kind of defeated the point of the fire drill because if you're notified when there's going to be a fire drill, like what's the point of having the drill? Um, but I would go down before everyone else and then they'd ring the bell and then everybody else would go out and then um, blah, blah, blah. Um, but if there had been an actual fire, what would have happened is I would have ditched my wheelchair, crawled down the stairs, or hopefully somebody maybe would carry me down the stairs and we would have done it that way. Um, but for the drills, it was, it was really kind of silly how we did it. Um, moving along. So there was, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at a list to the side of this video screen. Um, to remind me, there was a, um, so it wasn't an issue, an issue when I was a freshman, sophomore, or junior, but when I was finally a senior, I got my driver's license, so I started driving, I don't think I, well, I just started driving to school sometimes, but more often from school, so, um, anyway, um, and I know that doesn't really make sense, <laughs> but there's a, a long convoluted story behind that. Anyway, there was, for the longest time in that main parking lot on the side of the building, there were no handicap spots. Um, so again, me going there was kind of the reason that there ended up being spots there. And I believe there are two now, um, um, but for the longest time there were, there was nothing there um, no handicap spots I mean so that was one another change that they made um, as a result of me going there okay next on the list in addition to having a key to the elevator I had a key to use the teachers restrooms on the first and second floor because mainly because um, the regular student restrooms weren't really accessible but the teacher restrooms were. I don't know if that was planned in the from like way back when everything was built or not. My guess is more than likely it was not planned um, but it just happened to be that way so I was allowed to use the teacher's restroom and I had a key to do so. Um, <laughs> Just making a quick edit to this list here. Okay, so now this was a problem for me, which I mentioned in um, college. I used a laptop to take notes and whatnot, and also for tests, I would go to a special area where I could use a computer to type out my responses if they were long essays or whatever. But in high school, I didn't do that. I didn't use a laptop in class, which led to me lagging behind the other students for long essays. And uh, the my freshman history teacher, I was in the accelerated classes, but my freshman history teacher wanted me to be in the um, non-college prep classes or the basic classes or the remedial classes, whatever you want to call it. Um, thankfully, my English teacher, who had been my aide in seventh grade, he knew that I belonged in the college prep classes or the accelerated classes, and um, he wanted me to stay in those classes. So he fought really hard at the end of the year when the history teacher wanted to have me like demoted, basically. And it was decided that I would stay in the accelerated classes, and which ended up making a lot of sense because I graduated 10th in my class out of 100 and something, 100 and between 110 and 120 people. Um, so I was one of the top students and it wouldn't have really made much sense for me to be in the, the non-college prep classes just because like I was not able to write as, by hand as quickly as other, other students. Um, okay, moving right along. So in physical education or gym class, most for the four years, most of the time I spent in the weight room, and that's why I ended up uh, strong. Um, no, but that's why I ended up um, doing bodybuilding and whatnot, and liking fitness a lot and stuff like that. Um, I took health with with all the other students, so we had a physical education for. Uh, uh, 
a mar oh yeah, marking period. So there were four marking periods, and I had physical education for three of them and health for one of them. So I took health with every other student that was in the regular phys ed class. But then we, when we were in the regular phys ed class, classes, most of the time I was lifting weights in the weight room. Um, so to supplement that, and to, so I could learn about the sports that the like regular kids were learning about, I would uh, be assigned papers on different sports like lacrosse or football or soccer or basketball or baseball, you know, whatever they were happened to be doing at that time, um, the phys ed teacher would assign me a paper and, and then I'd have to write a paper up about that uh, as part of the curriculum for me. Um, once in a while I did participate in the regular activities, like I distinctly remember some uh, one time we were playing like indoor football and I, I would throw passes to some kids and whatnot. That was kind of cool. Um, and there were a couple of other instances of that. And sometimes I would go to warm ups, like do jumping jacks, obviously like my version of jumping jacks or whatever um, with the kids before they went out to the fields to do stuff. And then I would do that with them and then go to the weight room. So that was kind of the gist of how that worked. Um, I had, this was super duper helpful. This next thing was super duper helpful to me. I had a double set of books um, so that I wouldn't have to bring books back and forth between school and home. So basically I had a set of books at home and I had a set of books at school and uh, it made it so much easier because first of all, my backpack, all, having all those books in my backpack would have weighed a ton. Um, but secondly, um, if like if I were to forget a book or something like that, I would still have it at home. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so that was that was really helpful, and um, it wasn't something I had in elementary school. In elementary, I had to bring back books back and forth if I if I needed them for homework or whatever. Um, on that note, I had two lockers. So I'm, I was the only kid in school with two lockers, but everybody else had one, and everybody else's was upstairs. I had a locker downstairs and a locker upstairs, which is super duper helpful to me um, for a variety of reasons. Um, I was able to keep my downstairs class, downstairs classes, downstairs class. The classes that I had downstairs, I could keep all my supplies for that stuff and my lunch in the downstairs locker. And then in the upstairs locker, I could keep all the supplies for those classes. So that was really helpful as well. Um, oh my gosh, going on 13 minutes now. See, I told you this was going to be a fairly long video. Um, I had an aide, much like, so I should be doing the element, <laughs> I should have done the elementary school video first, and then the high school, and then the college, but here we are uh, doing it in reverse order. So I had an aide in elementary school from, I, I don't remember having one in kindergarten, but I suppose I did. Anyway, first grade, second grade, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. But then for high school, I had an aide freshman year, um, really cool guy who actually works at the at that high school now. Um, I, I had an aide for sophomore year, another cool guy, different guy, um, but he was really cool. Then I had an aide for part of junior year. The reason I had an aide for part of junior, only part of junior year, was that, um, excuse me, the the first person they hired as the aide, he he was a great guy. I really liked him. We got along well, but um, he 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 had trouble with his home life. Um, so what ended up happening was he would not show up to work some, some days and then he would start start not showing up to work like two days in a row or three days in a row and so eventually i was like i said to the um administration i was like this this isn't really working i you know it's, it's something has to be done and um what ended up having to be done, actually, it wasn't my choice, but the guy, the guy had to leave the job um, because he needed to concentrate on his home life. Um, so then what happened was they hired a woman 
and this woman was I, I really didn't like her she she was incredibly overbearing and she 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 treated me as if I were like five years old and at the time I was like 17 so that was really really super awkward so I again went to the administration I was like this this is not working uh, you know what I'd actually better be better off with nobody than with her so it was decided that because I had um, done so well when that first one from junior year had stopped coming in on certain days it was decided that maybe we could I could try being without an aide and see how that went and it ended up going fine so for the rest of junior year I didn't have an aide and then I didn't have an aide for senior year either um, so that ended up working out um, but it was f for that for that junior year it was it was a tough road there for a while because the one guy stopped coming in and then the woman was really making me really uncomfortable and causing me to not be able to concentrate in class and stuff like that. Um, but it ended, out, it ended up working out for the best because I realized that I was able to be more independent than I thought I was. Uh, okay, so I think we're up to the last thing for now. I'll probably think of something as soon as I end this video, but what are you going to do? Um, in terms of physical therapy, I had a physical therapist come to the school once a week. I, I believe it's, it's been a while now, um, but I believe it was every, every week, once a week for each of the four years that I was in high school. Um, and so we would do braces stuff and we would do stretching exercises and just a, a massage stuff and for my legs and whatnot um, but uh, he also helped me get um, like uh, through the process of getting a new wheelchair at that time when I when I got a new wheelchair um, excuse me but that was different than what it was for elementary school and I won't mention that now I'll just say it was different I'll get into that more in the other video um, but it was helpful and um, I didn't I didn't have that in college I just sort of did physical therapy stuff on my own anyway I think that's it so I said what did I say it was gonna be eight five ten minutes and it's gonna be 18 <laughs> oh well I always estimate too low but um, thanks for watching I'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe and be sure to stay safe out there Oops. <laughs>